Okay, part two then says by taking x equals two sevenths, show that the root of five is approximately 11, 111 over 49. And um, so even if we're not quite sure where this question is going, we can at least um, sub in the x equals two sevenths and see what happens. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so we've got one minus two sevenths on the top over one plus two sevenths on the bottom, which simplifies to um, this would be five sevenths over 9 sevenths square rooted still and those sevenths kind of you can think of them as cancelling out if I times both sides by both top and bottom by 7 I'd get root 5 over 9 so if I literally just typed um, sorry substituted in 2 sevenths into here and here that wouldn't give me what we want that wouldn't give me root 5 that would give me a third of root 5 so once I've done this substitution, I'm then going to need to remember to times by 3 to get the result that we're looking for. So when x equals 2 sevenths, we're going to have 1 minus 2 sevenths plus a half of 2 sevenths squared. That would be equivalent to root 5, or roughly equivalent, approximately equal to root 5 over 3. So an approximation for root 5 over 3 is 1 minus 2 sevenths, what's this going to be? This is going to be plus 4 over um, 98. So if we work that out, we get, so 1 minus 2 sevenths plus 4 over 98 gives me the fraction 37 over 49. That, remember, is for root 5 over 3, so root 5 is approximately 3 times that, which comes out at 111 over 49.